Good morning, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements, Putnam, Connecticut. Out here in beautiful Lisbon, Connecticut today, doing some gutter cleaning. This is a little bit beyond my footprint. But these leads have come to me organically, so the referrals from past clients, that kind of thing. So you gotta do it. These gutters are brimming with water and leaves. What was that? Two minutes? Next project, gutter cleaning and house washing. Already did gutters on the low building here. Gonna run out the house now. We got a nice new roof on the house. Aluminum siding. And the gutters are not too bad. Pretty simple ranch wash. The only thing odd here today is this is aluminum siding. It's in very nice condition. Probably 30 years old or so. 35 maybe. And it's a bit cold this morning. It's about 40, 45 degrees out here right now. In the shade. So we're using a 1.8 injector and putting about 1%, 1.25 maybe on a house. And again, it's about dwell time. So I'm gonna soak three sides, the three shady sides. Then we'll come back to the beginning and see what we look like. Maybe do a little bit of second soaping here and there. Some of these gutters and fascia boards are pretty dirty. depending on what it looks like. Switch to rinse mode and then uh, take care of just the back on its own in the sun. So I don't know what you can tell me about the earth being flat. There's the moon right, right there in the middle. That's the moon right there. And there's the sun right there. Huh, that's crazy. It's only been about a 15 minute dwell time 
This is beautiful over here. Very light rinsing required. Nice. All right, set up and running. I'm on another property now in Columbia, Connecticut. Again, a little bit outside of my footprint. But that's okay. I made a nice loop today. We got one more property on the way home. I like to cast out to the furthest property first and then work my way back to base. Wanna being a half an hour ride to the first project and then, other, then another half an hour further away from my home for the second project. But then another half an hour closer to my home for this, the third project. And then one more about 15 minutes from here. So it won't be too bad in the end. Hi, we are out here in Brooklyn, Connecticut now to do some Roof washing, house washing, gutter cleaning, a little bit of moss back here. We're going to be treating this back quadrant of the roof, a quick spray out front here, and then we're going to be attempting to remove this terrible rust stain. Obviously, this is the problem, or something is the problem up in here, creating all this. That needs to be replaced. You see how nasty it is? But we're going to start, per the client's request, to remove this iron. Look how much there is here. It's terrible. And I'm going to be using Rust-Aid. I got three gallons of Rust-Aid on the truck. I'm going to fill up a pump-up sprayer. And we're going to come up here and try it directly and see what happens. All right, Rust-Aid. See, it says right there. Great for rust stains. Rust stain remover. Let's do it. All right, pump sprayer and straight Rust-Aid. We're going to see what happens. up a whole gallon and this is the area that we started in and that has improved dramatically we still need some dwell time up here I managed to spray both stains completely with one gallon this is improved down here too so I think we're gonna let that hang out for a good few minutes and I think I'm gonna pull the x6 up here and work on washing or treating that back roof well, that continues that to dwell. transitioned a lot. I've gone up and treated the roof with SH now, uh, both sides. Uh, I've come down for a little bit. It really shouldn't be mixing these two chemicals together. It does put off a pretty nasty fume. Uh, so while this dwells for a little while longer, I'm gonna start washing the house. And I think I'm gonna do one more gallon of Rust Aid before I do that. I'm gonna go up there and spray that one more time with another whole gallon and let it hang out. Result on this back roof. I just gave it a little touch up. Shooting 6% today. It only warmed up to about 40 degrees. It's been cold all day today. I believe it's gonna get down to 28 overnight tonight. So I'll be using that truck tarp. my final result on the top of the roof now this is still dwelling it's still got some wet here and it's really improved quite a bit we're gonna see what it does I don't know I guess I'll come back in a day or two and take another look next time I'm in the area maybe put a little bit more rust aid on there in a few days or a week Let's see if it continue, continues to improve but that's a pretty dramatic improvement I'm happy with that Let's see if we can buy the active ingredient in Rust-Aid somewhere in a stronger form.